Somehow so many problems came over me all at once. My husband left me for his mistress, he was fed up with me. And my daughter Lena had a bad fall and broke her leg. Now she needs a rehabilitation course, we need to send her to a specialized sanatorium in the Crimea. Otherwise Alina may stay lame for life. I just didn't know where I could get the money for the treatment. The most frustrating thing was that I was working two jobs, but still did not have enough money. I was paid very little at my jobs. I am constantly looking for a new job, but so far to no avail. So I could not pay for a trip to Alina. Well, unless I had to rob a bank or sell my kitty. I just did not know what to do. I had no one to ask for help. I left the doctor very upset and went to sit in the park and think about what I should do. While sitting on a bench in the park, I saw young mothers with baby carriages. The idea of becoming a surrogate mother popped into my head. When I got home, I quickly found a center on the internet in our town that was doing that. The very next day I went to this center and was examined there. Soon my profile appeared on the website of the center. Two weeks went by. My daughter was to be discharged from the hospital soon, but no one chose me as a surrogate mother yet. I started to worry. After all, I already needed money to continue the treatment of Alina. Valentina, can you come to our clinic now? We had clients who chose you as a surrogate mother for their child. I went to the hospital right away. I was offered to carry a baby for a childless couple. However, there was one crucial nuance. The future mother was over the reproductive age and could not give her own biomaterial necessary for conception. Therefore, I had to become both a surrogate mother and a genetic mother at the same time. I didn't like it very much. I would have to give up my baby, after all. I just didn't know what to do. But when I met Galina Sergeyevna, I realized that I owed her help. Then I met her husband, he was much younger than she was. It was clear that he did not really like his wife's idea, but he was forced to agree with her. We signed the contract. Then fertilization and IVF happened. To increase my chances, the doctor implanted several embryos. After a while the ultrasound results showed that I was going to have triplets. Galina Sergeyevna was very happy when she found out about it and immediately increased my fee. Galina Sergeyevna called me every day, made sure that I ate well, and did not overdo it. Galina at the time, was in the sanatorium in the Crimea. She liked it there very much. Pregnancy was difficult, I suffered a lot from edema and toxemia. But I held on. I had to spend most of the pregnancy in hospital. Then Alina came back and realized that I was pregnant. She was very happy about it. My daughter just really wanted a little brother or sister. I explained to her that I just wanted to help some very good people who can't have a baby themselves. The time for delivery was approaching. Everything was fine, and then suddenly Galina Sergeyevna disappeared. She stopped calling me. I was very surprised at this. I went to Galina Sergeyevna's house, but it was closed. The clinic could not get through to her either. After some time they were able to call Galina Sergeyevna's husband. He said he had separated from his wife, and that he did not need the children at all. I was shocked by what was happening. I was very nervous, and I went into labor. I had triplets. Two girls and a boy. I did not even know what to do. Galina Sergeyevna never showed up. Doctors advised me to give up my children. There were people who wanted to adopt them. But I quickly realized that I couldn't give up my children to anyone. How could I do otherwise? After all, they were my own children. When I came home, Alina was very happy. She had two sisters and a brother at the same time. By chance I found myself a very inexpensive nanny. The girl of Eastern nationality named Gulnara came to help me. She really needed the money, so she agreed to help me. Life began to get better. Only I couldn't stop thinking. What had happened to Galina Sergeyevna? I often began to pass by her house. Usually it was dark there, it was clear at once that no one was there. So passed half a year. But one day I was lucky. I saw a light in the windows of the house. I went into the house. There I met Igor, Galina Sergeyevna's husband. Igor met me in a very strange way. He said, why are you standing at the door? If you've come, come in. Where's Galina Sergeyevna? Why do you need that old hag? She's in the hospital. Where an old woman should be. I don't understand what's going on here. What happened to Galina Sergeyevna? I asked in surprise. And then something unexpected happened. Igor attacked me and hit me on the head with something heavy. When I woke up, I was tied up, my mouth was taped shut. Igor was sitting next to me, looking at me with a smile on his face. Are you awake now? That's good. Don't you still not recognize me? It's me, Igor. I was in the same class with you, and all school years I was madly in love with you. And you didn't even notice me, you didn't see how I felt about you. After high school, I took care of myself. That's why I changed so much. Galina Sergeyevna fell in love with me. But I didn't need her, I only needed her money. Everything was fine until she decided to become a mother. Why she needed it at her age I still don't understand. Then I saw your profile at the fertility center, and chose you as the mother for my children. I understood that this was my chance to be with you. I didn't care about Galina Sergeyevna. One day she and I had a big fight. She started screaming that she was going to turn me into the police. 
I had to use a little force to calm her down. She had a stroke from the excitement. Now she's in the hospital. Having said all this, Igor left. In time I was able to get up from the couch and went outside. Passersby saw me there and called the police. Igor was arrested. Galina Sergeevna eventually recovered and was discharged from the hospital. She was very happy that I did not give up my children. Galina Sergeevna offered me to come and live with her. I agreed. Now I run Galina Sergeevna's business, and Alina goes to school. And Galina and Galnara take care of the kids. We are all very happy. True, to achieve this, we had to go through a lot of difficulties. But that's okay. The main thing is that now everything is fine. Everyone got what they deserved. Thank you.